Alright then, hello and welcome back to GT Legends. The next championship in Cup Stage D is the Fiat 500 Italian Cup. We've got four races of four laps, starting with Monza Jr., Vallelunga, Enna Pergusa, and Imola 1972. So, before we get started with race number one, let's have a look at the runners and riders for the Fiat 500 Championship. So we have quite a nice healthy grid of 12 cars, excluding myself, so it's going to be 13 cars on the grid. And you did comment and give me the hex code for the colours that you wanted your cars to be. And a lot of them were very similar. Blue was the very popular colour of the cars on this championship. Uh, but we're going to start with car number 11, which is A. Samuel. Now, uh, he didn't give me a colour that he wanted his car. So, as it's an Italian championship, I just put the Italian flag on there. Uh, so, he is driving car at number 11. Then we have Piot GT driving car at number 27 in a nice, lovely sky blue. Then we have Randy Dubbin in car at number 33. Then we have Turbo Racing in car 37. You can see the colours are very similar to one another. So, yeah, blue was definitely the dominant colour of choice. Uh, we have Daz in a rather flamboyant purpley pink colour in car number 42. Then we have Rick Gat driving car 46 in the Rothmans colours. Then we have Templar in at car number 63. Again, another similar blue colour. Keanu Reeve is next in car at number 66. He wanted a yellow and green color livery. Then we have Jay Jones back in the Labatt's coloration in car 72. And in 72B, uh, another driver, a newcomer to this series, uh, Rock John 72, wanted car 72. Um, so I made a 72 for Jay and 72B for John. So there we go. Uh, next up is Aqua Ace in car number 83, a nice dark coloration, uh, more like a royal blue, really, in car 83. And then finally, we have Breno Oliveira, again in a more a teal or cyan color in car number 99. And I went for something more extra eh, extravagant. I can't even speak my words. Um, yeah, my car has seen better days. <laughs> I decided to go for a very rusty color. Um, and there's only one number, which I've just crudely painted on the side. But uh, yeah, it's looking a bit worse for wear. But hey, why not? I'm, I'm not going for, for the uh, best looking competition. So anyway, they are the drivers for this championship. So we're going to start with Monza Jr. Four laps with uh, the first round of the Fiat 500 Italian Cup. Right then, so here are your qualifying results then. Randy Durbin gets pole position for race number one, Aqua Ace alongside on row one. Row two is Keanu Reeve and A. Samuel. Row three, Turbo Racing, Breno Oliveira. Row four is Piot GT and Jay Jones. Row five, Templar and Rick Cat. Row six is Daz and Rock John 72. And starting at the very back is, of course, myself in 13th. And here we go then. Listen to these lovely cars. They have um, good top end speed. And away we go. Very fast off the line. I think it's 0 to 60 in roughly 17 and a half days. But we're all going to barrel into turn number one. I'll take it steady. The thing is, I'm so used to the other cars being, like, incredibly quick. Oh, excuse me. But these ones, because they are so slow, you, you need to get used to the, the fact that, you know, you can take the corners a little bit faster than you usually could. Only four gears as well, so I can actually use a shifter this time. I'm going to be topping out at round about... 12 miles an hour. Yeah, you can literally take the Parabolica in fourth gear. Not exactly flat out. And the braking on these cars as well is incredibly good. Gonna be drafting Rick. 
Now, unlike the previous championship in the BMW uh, 635s, everyone does have a talent file this time. So it's all down to the, uh, the luck and the RNG of which the game gives you the good performance. Shifted into second, don't clip the wall. There we go, back on the back straight. So Aqua Ace leads away from Randy Dubbin and A Samuel, the top three at the moment. And we have Keanu Reeves, Breno, Oliveira, Turbo Racing, Piot GT, and Jay, the top eight. Yeah, my, my granddad used to have one of these cars, a little Fiat 500 bubble car. He was trying to restore it. And it was like an orange color, and they had like um, lipstick on the front with uh, little eyelashes on the headlights and stuff. And it looked really cool, but um, unfortunately it was never restored to its former glory. But I do love um, little Fiat's. My, my all-time dream car, if I had the money, if money was no object and I could get myself my dream car, it would be a Fiat 126 because they're so small, so cute. And because I'm short enough, you know, I would actually be able to reach the pedals. I would be able to stand next to the car and, and look tall. But there was a woman, uh, locally is, is going, oh, <laughs> nicely saved. Uh, but yeah, there was, a, there was a woman who lived locally who had one, and it was a nice blue color. And uh, she was selling it. And this was going back like 10, 15 years ago. And she only wanted 500 pounds for it. And, uh, oh, if I had the money, I would have snapped that straight up. But, yeah, little Fiat 126s, adorable little cars. It's either a Fiat 126 or an Auto Bianchi A112. I would love one of those. Oh, my word. Getting all crossed up. Yeah, not going to do well at Monza. I don't really ever do well around this track. But, oh well. Yeah, look at that. Aqua Ace has got a 13 second lead at the moment. But then, did I really expect to win in a clap type piece of crap like this car? I mean, it looks like it's seen better days. My driving style definitely has seen better days. No, don't slide it again. There we go. I'll probably be better around some of the uh, the longer circuits like Vallelunga and Enna Pagusa. I do like Enna. Imola, I've, I've never been a fan of Imola, I will admit. It's not been one of my favorite circuits. There we go, topping out again, around about 17 mile an hour. Rush out a little bit wide. So, it looks like Aqua Ace is going to get the first victory then. Randy Devin and Ace Samuel, the top three. And they are your race positions then. Keanu Reeves, Breno Oliveira. Turbo Racing, Piot GT, J, Rock, John, 72, gets the fastest lap as well. Uh, Templar, Daz, Rick, and myself. The final finishing positions, and I'm lagging at the back. And there's Bart, <laughs> the flagman. I put uh, Bart's face on the uh, flagman, so uh, he has a cameo. I put his uh, girlfriend as well as one of the spectators, so she's got her face on the uh, one of the spectators as well. But there we go then, Aqua Ace gets the first victory, Randy Dubbin and Ace Samuel, the top three. And here's the point so far then, 964-321, nothing to really write home about, still three races to go. And we're going to head off now for race number two at Vallelunga.
And here is the qualifying results sent for rank number two. A Samuel gets pole position. Jay Jones alongside on row one. Piot GT, Breno Oliveira on row two. Templar not four and Randy Dubbin row three. Uh, Rick Cat, Aqua Ace row four. Rock John 72 and Turbo Racing on row five. Row six, Keanu Reeve and Daz. And I'm, of course, starting at the back in 13th place. And here we go then. Should do better here. Um, it's more wide open. But we'll see. And away we go. Listering start. Oh, people are slamming on their brakes. And there's the sea of blue up ahead. Everyone in very similar cars. I promise I have put in the hex code so everyone does have the color that they picked. They just look very similar to one another. <laughs> it's like they've all come from the same uh, body shop. You can pick any color you want as long as it's blue. Ah, wonderful. Right, up into fourth, which is a good start. I do like Vallelunga, one of my favorite circuits. Jay is not doing too bad either in second at the moment. This corner are going to take flat out. Lovely. I will try and dive up the inside. Stick it into second gear. Actually, I think I could take this corner in third. Excuse me. I've had um, a few issues recently with my graphics card where the graphics drivers kept defaulting back to an older version and that would make my um, AMD software completely useless. Um, and what it is, it's Windows Update. For some weird reasons, uh, they have an old version of the, the uh, monitor drivers and every time you update AMD, Windows tries to update with an old driver version and it completely ruins uh, your your software so you can't use the updates or anything like that. Uh, I had to uninstall all of the drivers and update manually but had to use the beta version of the latest update so I think it's 22 version 1 or whatever it was which uh, was a massive pain because sometimes it's not compatible um, but yeah, it's, it literally made the computer not work at all. And it reverted all of the settings that I did have with the graphics card, uh, back to default. So nothing was working like the, uh, the fans. Usually you have the fans running, you know, when the graphics card gets a little bit warm and they turn on automatically, but that was turned off. So, I mean, the graphics card, even while the computer was just idling as I'm going to go wide, um, was running at like 60 degrees Celsius. Well, there's all my hard work for naught. Um, so yeah, I mean, I had a lot of problems with the card and the drivers recently. But uh, luckily, managed to get most of that well, fixed. Well, there's the thumbnail for the uh, championship. Oh, I was doing so well. Now I'm right at the back again. Jay Jones so far has the fastest lap time. These cars are so incredibly fun. Absolutely love these cars. And you can brake really late as well. Fling it into the corner.
And we're losing ground on Rick. Might be able to make that back up though. Still got a lap and a half to go or a lap and a quarter to go. Right, don't understeer off into the grass this time. That's better. Keep it in second gear. First would probably be a bit too short. Rattle over the curbs. And starting the final lap. Breno Oliveira has the fastest lap at the moment. Taken from Jay. Everyone seems to be spread out now. I so want to put the car into fifth gear, but sadly won't happen but just ruin the engine. Trying to get into Rick's draft. I don't think these cars are fast enough to actually produce any drafting effect. get it around. There we go. So, we're so close, but I had to botch it going through the tighter section. Would have been able to get some points. Oh, I think my car is running out of fuel as well. It's stuttering a little bit. Yeah, it's stuttering. Come on. Come on. Come on. It just made it. Yeah, my car was running out of fuel. I only had 0.8 of a gallon. Or whatever that is. Litre, 0.8 of a litre. So, yeah, there we go. Race 2 complete and still out of the points. But anyway, A. Samuel gets a victory then, Jay Jones was second, Breno Oliveira was third, Piot GT, Templar Not 4, and Randy Dubbin are the top six point scorers. And you got Aqua Ace, Turbo Racing, Rick Cat, myself, uh, Rock John 72, Keanu Reeve, and Daz, the top 13. And here are the points so far then. A. Samuel leads away by four points, and you got Aqua Ace, Randy Dubbin, and Breno with uh, nine, seven, and six respectively, with uh, Jay Jones actually tied for uh, fourth place with Breno but we're going to move on then to my favorite track in this whole collection which is uh, Enna Pragusa and here is the qualifying results then for round number three Rock John 72 gets pole position the first pole position on his debut season Aqua Ace and Rick Cat in third place Breno, Piot GT, Daz, Jay Jones, A Samuel, Keanu Reeve, Turbo Racing, Randy Dubbin and Templar Not 4 at the top 12 and as always I'm starting in unlucky 13th but uh let's see how we get on then for round three god my car looks like a right state anyway and a producer i love this track lights are on but nobody's home and away we go and the sea of blue the blue triplets in front and we've got Keanu Reeves green and yellow. Then we've got the Italian flag of A. Samuel. The Labatt's coloration of J. The curbs are very high here, so I want to take it steady. I don't want any more possibility of going on two wheels. Whack it in the fourth. Drop it down into third. 
Take the position away from Turbo Racing. Bit of bumping and boring going on between A. Samuel and Jay Jones. Jay gets a victory on this one though and takes seventh place. I've made sure this time I put enough fuel in. At least two more laps worth of fuel. Now the reason I love this track so much is that you got the chicanes coming up, but you can go through there flat out. And it is so good. If you get it right, I mean, there's usually tire bundles on either side, so you can crash. But if you get it right, it is so satisfying. Oh, he almost... <laughs> a Samuel almost came a cropper there. Oh, and we do have a coming together. Oh, and I got a warning for cutting the track. I don't know who that was, but there was a car that was stationary, so it looks like he did spin. I did get a warning for cutting the track, but it's okay. I mean, I only done it the once. Now, this chicane up here as well. This is great fun. Flat out through. I'm not going to lift off. Line it up. Actually, I did lift off because I was a bit of a chicken, but yeah, usually you can get through there flat out. I just thoroughly, thoroughly love this track. It is one of my favourites. And especially when you're in, like, the higher-powered GT cars and you can do, like, endurance races around here. It's so much fun. There we go, that is a lap of Emma. Starting at lap number two, Rock John still leads away at the moment with the fastest lap time. Aqua Ace and Rick, the top three. I'm in fourth. And Templar is still at the back. It looks like they've cleared that car that was stationary, though. Oh, don't want to go too wide. Just keep it in third. Tap the brake a little bit. There we go. Now, I can't tell what my fastest lap was at the moment because I did cut that corner. So I have to make sure I don't cut any more corners so I can get a lap time in. Look at that, that is so much fun going through there. Keep it in fourth gear. Barrel over the curbs, don't go out too wide. I don't even know how fast we're going. I think it is top speed of around about 80, 90, 100 mile an hour, something like that. And we're doing, oh actually no, we've reached, oh, I don't know if that's kilometers or not. Oh well. Right, through here again, I am going to lift off this time, just to make sure I get the apex correct. See, the AI take that flat out as well, so I'm not the only one. Uh, we're five seconds back from Rick. But, uh, I, I think we're going to have to settle for a fourth place on this one, but it's still got two laps to go after this. So anything can happen. Oh, that is so satisfying. Go through there. Pretty much with only just feathering the throttle a little bit, just to take a little bit of the edge off so you don't understeer off. And Rick has the fastest lap so far. Uh, my lap time is 2.24. Oh, I'm going to go wide. Yeah. Cost me a little bit of ground. Renault directly behind.
Still losing ground on the front end though. We're only eight seconds behind the leader of Rock John. And uh, 6.5 seconds behind Rick. Templar is having a torrid time of it though. 16 seconds adrift. There you go. Just keep it in fourth gear. Renault is in my draft at the moment. No, if I move out, I think he, sh he usually follows. Nope, okay. The AI isn't that smart then. That's a shame. Can we get through here flat out? I'm going to try it. Oh, I did lift, lift off a little bit there, but almost 98% flat out, I would say. Steering wheel wobbling over the bumps. Made up a bit of time on Rick as well. 4.5 seconds back now. I think these chicanes up here, I don't have to downshift either. I can just keep it in fourth. I'll do the usual, like a 70s movie. Tap the brake. Okay, no, I do definitely have to downshift. The car does get way too unsettled over the curbs. Okay, final lap then. Uh, looks like the debutante, Rock John, could be picking up a victory here. That's better. I didn't wash out too wide that time. Randy Dubbin has got the fastest lap time. He's down in 11th, though. Clamber over the curbs. Now, we've lost a bit of grain to Rick again. Five seconds back. That'll probably increase. Yeah, it is now. Barrel it through here, shall we? That is so bloody satisfying, you have no idea. Going wide, though, is not. You know what go-karters do when they bounce up and down in their seat to try and get that bit more traction? I want to do that. It's like the car, I just want it to go just a little bit faster. Right, Rick's already gone through the chicane. Flat out. Flat out, look at that. Perfect. It's not going to do any good though, I mean I'm going to finish fourth in this race, but that is very fun to do. Oh, it looks like Rick and Aqua Ace are battling it out, so Rick could actually get second place. They are side by side. In fact, they're dead even, but I think Rick's got the inside line, so he should take second place. And he does. Look at that. Straight up the inside. Oh, and someone's gonna rang. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. I get a podium. Hooray. Uh, I think Aqua Ace got nerfed by Rick. Um... Or something, but... Hey, a podium's a podium. I got some points. And there we go. I think, uh, yeah, Aqua Ace finished fifth in the end. Uh, Jay finished in fourth, and Daz finished in sixth. So Daz gets some points on the board as well. Uh, but congratulations, Rox John 72 for the first victory in car 72B. Uh, and there we go. Rick Cat gets second place, and I get the top three. So this has made the point standings incredibly close at the top. Uh, A. Samuel is only two points ahead of Aqua Ace. Rock John moves straight up into third overall, tied third with Jay. Randy Dubbin, Rick Cat is also on the board, uh, tied with Breno for six points. And I'm in the top eight, so that is not bad at all. Right, the final race then. 
Um, oh, and to say that, everyone has got points on the board, so nobody is going to be a loser this time. Okay, my uh, least favourite track in this group is Imola 1972. And here we go then for the final race. Here's your qualifying results. Rick Cat gets pole position with Breno alongside on row one. Aqua Ace, Temple Not 4 on row two. Turbo Racing, Randy Dub in row three. Row four, Rock John 72 and Daz. Row five is Ace Samuel and Keanu Reeve. And row six is Piot GT and Jay Jones with myself starting at the back. And here we go then for the final time. I played around on this track before, uh, just driving around, and there are so many little back roads and bridges that you can go over. It's really fun. Anyway, off we go then for the final time. And squeeze past Jay. A little bit of a cluster. And a sea of blue, the blue triplets just up ahead, or quadruplets, one slightly a different shade. Oh look, a Pirelli hot air balloon that is uh, stuck in stasis, just floating there. The basket is way too small for that envelope. That should be one of those um, tourist ones, the big long ones. go. Get past Rock John. Thank you, sir. Oh, that corner was a bit weird. I didn't know how fast I could take it. I didn't see any of the brake lights come on cars ahead, so I was a bit worried there. What about this one? Oh yeah, this is pretty much... Oh no, I was going to say flat out, but no it's not. Oh, we lost a lot of speed. I think John is going to be coming up on the outside. Nope. And of course, being the 1972 version, no chicane. Straight down into the valley. Into the valleys. But this corner still catches me out. Not as sharp as it is today though, but still sharp enough. There we go, Imola 1972, and that is a lap of how it used to be back in yesteryear. Um, what is our lap times going to be? Probably like 2 minutes 30-ish. Have a look. Lap time is... Oh, 2.43. I was close. Off by 13 seconds. Rick still leads away though from Aqua Ace and Breno Oliveira. Oliveira, I keep... Getting tongue-tied with that name. I keep saying Oliverera. It's a bit like February or February or whatever. But Breno Oliviera. There we go. Turbo Racing, Templar, myself, Rock John, Randy Dubbin, Daz, A. Samuel, Keanu Reeve, Piot GT, and Jay lagging at the back. very messy. This corner makes me nervous. I don't know if I can take it flat out or not, but almost. Cut the corner a little bit. That corner is weird as well. It's like a double apex, but it gets progressively sharper, and I've just lost a load of time. A 
And we're only on lap two of four, so I mean, this, this race is gonna take a little while to complete. I'm causing a bit of a trolley train behind. It seems to be all stacking up a little bit. Right, so what is the fastest lap time so far then? Uh, 2.25 is the lap time by Rick. Breno has got the fastest lap time though. Uh, don't know what it is because it doesn't show up. And um, what's my fastest lap time at the moment? A 2.29. So I was close when I said it ran about the 2.30 mark. So I was pretty much on ball with that. And there's a Pirelli balloon again, stuck in midair, like a glitch in the matrix. But yeah, I mean, you can actually drive off this circuit and look at all the little side roads and farms and stuff like that. Oh, no. Oh. That was a bit strange. Um, but yeah, all the little side roads, you can just drive over everything. Uh, it's really cool. So, like, got little cul-de-sacs and slip roads and stuff like that. That's better. Got the corner slightly, somewhat correct. I think we're going to be out of points on this one, though. Sadly. But at least we do have some points on the board, so we're not going to walk away empty-handed. I mean, if I can get into sixth place, that'd be even better, but... Oh, well. And, no, that is completely too fast. Excuse me. Well, no one lost any positions. So, that, that was okay. I think these cars are indestructible. Right, final lap then. And my lap time is a 2.31. So I'm like six seconds off pace with the rest of the uh, drivers. But I did say, you know, Imola was never my favourite circuit. I mean, this version, I very rarely race on. I mean, all I've done is literally drive around the back roads, but... Yeah, I mean, even the, the modern versions and everything like that, I just never could... It's one of those circuits that you just cannot get into the rhythm with. Some like Enapagusa, I just pick up straight away, but Imola, no, never been able to gel with it. Oh, I think I got a bit of damage. There goes Daz. Can I take this flat out or not? No. It turns out. Oh, we're getting it all crossed up. Keanu Reeves' car always reminds me of the old Walker's packet of uh, 
cheese and onion crisps. Or the, um, what was it, the, the golden, was it golden wonder? Or something like that? Back in the day, back when, uh, you know, crisps were not just filled with bags of air. And they actually had a bit of, uh, food inside them, but, oh well. That's back in the good old days. When Mars bars were the size of your forearm. Now they're the size of your little finger. And they're, you know, you have to sell a kidney just to buy one. Anyway, congratulations, Rick Catno gets the victory. Aqua Ace, Breno Oliveira, and Tempo Not 4, Turbo Racing, and Rock John. 72 get the finishing positions in the points. And I'm lagging in ninth place. But oh well. That was fun. I enjoyed that championship. That was uh, really, really good fun. Uh, Jay unfortunately finished last on that one. But oh well. So let's have a look at the full rundown then. Rick Cat does indeed get the victory. Aqua Ace and Breno Oliveira. The third step of the podium. Temper Not 4, Turbo Racing, Rock John, Daz, Randy Dubbin, myself, Piot GT, Ace Samuel, Keanu Reeve, and Jay Jones. So let's have a look then at the final championship standings. So Aqua Ace wins the championship by two points. Rick Cat second and uh, is second by another two points from A. Samuel. Then we have Rock John 72 and Breno Oliveira. Uh, Jay Jones, Randy Dubbin, Temper Not 4, myself with four points. Then we have a three-way tie with Piot GT, Keanu Reeve, Turbo Racing with three points. And sadly, Daz finished last with one point. So there we go. That was incredibly, incredibly close. But... Um, yeah, look at that. That is fantastic. So, uh, yeah, a lot of people getting some damn good points. And, uh, yeah, congratulations to Aqua Ace for winning the Fiat 500 Championship. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to do that again to uh, get the uh, the Diamond Trophy. But next championship, then, is the Celica Championship. Toyota Celicas are to the fore. Two races of six laps. Suzuka, 1978, and Fuji, 1982. So I will put down the numbers. Um, I don't have the template for this car, so it's going to be the numbers that are available. And, uh, yeah, whatever numbers are available, pick which one you want, and I will add you into the game, like always. So, yeah, that's it for me, then. I will leave here for now. Thank you very much for watching, as always. And I will see you next time then for the Toyota Celica Championship. So take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.